I will show you how to set up Flashbots RPC to never lose Ethereum gas. Flashbots RPC allows regular Ethereum users to easily submit their transactions to the Flashbots RPC by using a custom RPC endpoint in their MetaMask wallet. Everything should be the same for Ethereum users, except transactions are sent to Flashbots, and then directly to Ethereum miners, instead of the public mempool where all the bots shenanigans happening that causes ETH transactions to get stuck in pending and waste your ETH gas. Using Flashbot RPC it protects against frontrunning where your transaction will not be seen by hungry sandwich bots in the public mempool. You will not get failed transactions, your transaction will only be mined if it doesn't include any reverts, so you don't pay for failed transactions. Note, your transaction could be uncled, emitted to the mempool, and then included on chain. Flashbot gives priority in blocks, transactions sent via flashbots are mined at the top of blocks, giving them priority. Use Flashbot along with fgastation.io's base fee in my case it is 111 guai and priority fee of 2 guai for safe included in the next mining block on Ethereum without ever losing ETH as gas when transactions is stuck on pending where you run out of gas. Next, how to set up Flashbot RPC settings on MetaMask Wallet. If you have not set up MetaMask Wallet, I will provide link below on how to set it up. To add Flashbot's Protect RPC endpoint follow these steps. Enter your MetaMask and click on your RPC endpoint at the top of your MetaMask. By default it says Ethereum mainnet. Click Custom RPC. Add HTTPS colon slash slash RPC dot flashbots dot net with a chain of one and currency of ETH. Scroll to the bottom and click Save. Network name equals Flashbots RPC. New RPC URL equals HTTPS colon slash slash RPC dot flashbots dot net. Chain ID equals 1. Currency symbol, optional equals ETH. Next, key tips and gotchas on using Flashbot RPC. You can find the status of your transaction on Etherscan. Etherscan has a nice interface for viewing the status of your transaction from our status API. We will try to resubmit your transaction for 25 blocks after which point it is considered expired and will be dropped. 1 ETH block time is around 15 seconds. 15 times 25 equals 375 seconds or a little over 1 minute. You have better chance of getting your transaction approved during this time with lower gas fees. Worst case, if your transaction is not accepted by miner it will cancel without losing ETH gas. Transactions under 42,000 gas, such as simple ether transfers, are rejected by the Flashbots relay. As a result, we will forward these to the public mempool instead. Transactions that perform simple actions, such as token approvals or transfers, will be sent to the public mempool as these do not need front-running protection. There is a risk that your transactions are included in uncled blocks and then emitted to the public mempool. Your transactions can be emitted to the public mempool if you switch RPC endpoints from Flashbots Protect RPC to another RPC while your transactions are pending on MetaMask Wallet. Fixing stuck transactions or fixing nonce errors on MetaMask. In the case that your transaction is stuck in a pending state or you have an extremely high nonce, you will need to reset your MetaMask account. That is why you want to back up all your account's private keys besides the main wallet seed phrase. This will cause it to update the nonce and transaction history from the network. Don't worry, your funds and keys are safe during this process. Follow these steps. Click the account icon on the top right corner of MetaMask. Click Settings. Click Advanced. Scroll down and click Reset Account. MEV stands for Minor Extractable Value or Maximal Extractable Value. It is the profits that can be made by extracting value from Ethereum users by reordering, inserting or censoring transactions within blocks being produced. Bots exploit this for arbitrage trades that cost average user higher gas fees and lost gas fee. In conclusion, I love using Flashbots RPC to skip Ethereum MEME pool and directly submit my transaction to miners to include on ETH blockchain. I save considerable money and wasted gas. If you find this Flashbot RPC Ethereum interesting, Please hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your appreciation to this little YouTuber. Comment below if you need to discuss other topics or other DAO projects that you find very interesting. I am always looking for other interesting projects to cover. Happy Crypto!